something that we do with icons po is um i sorry with uh the incubator is policies made for stakeholders next slide so this was uh, recently concluded we met with the different um campuses of UP and inaayos namin yung policies for spin offs Kasi kapag researcher ka, tapos spin-off ka, kailangan mong mag-take ng leave from being a researcher to establish the company para hindi ka magkaroon ng conflict. So, yung mga spin-off kasi namin, sila yung parang main nagiging incubate namin. Pero ang nagiging problem is dahil nga they need to take a leave and they don't want to take that leave kasi it's work, mapuputol siya. Kinagawa nilang retirement plan ang pagtatayo ng company. So, dala nila sa technology, tapos magre-retire na sila. Okay, I'll put up the company. I'll market this. You teach me how. I know all the technical. Mabilis na ang tech transfer. Tapos meron pa silang retirement money. Yun na yung kanilang ano, gagamitin pang capital nila. So, okay na okay. So, kami on the incubator side, paano natin yun magagamit para maging successful sila? And madala natin yung technology and products natin to the market. So, next slide po. So, these are some of our spin-off. Dalawa dyan ay retired na yung nagmamanage. And yung isa is ongoing researcher din siya. So, mga professor, high, mga high level naman sila. So, yan ang kanilang pinofocus. So, mostly, since magaling na sila on the technical part, we focus on the market side. Marketing. Hmm. Doon nila need pitching dahil nga sanay na sila mag-talk. So, madami silang, eh di ba pag mag-pitch tayo, dapat talagang kung ano lang gusto mong sabihin, yun yung isashare mo. Kung ano yung gusto mong marinig, nung ano, ano yung highlight, ano yung selling point. Pag technical, minsan, nag-uusap na sila ng science. Super science na yung dinidiscuss nila sa pitching. So, doon tayo mag-help na, oh, hindi po tayo puro, hindi po siya scientific conference, siya po ay pitching activity. So, that's where we help. And then, next slide. So, we do not have it all, but we have the different enablers. So, that's with ICONS, um, the partner universities, and the different agencies we work together. So, previously, we focused on the technologies, mostly uh, technology business incubator. So, talagang ang tinatanggap lang ng business incubator ng UPLB ay may tech. Pero ngayon, nang nagbago with the change in curriculum, yung mga K-12, meron ng technopreneurship program sa university. Ang daming agribusiness students, meron silang technology output. Industrial engineering students, they utilize the patent information database. So, yung mga yun, tinatanggap na din namin yung students. And even MSMEs. So, we partnered with the Business Affairs Office of the University. And tuwing Sabado kasi sa amin, may business, tawag, Saturday Bazaar. So, ginagamit namin yung part na yun to validate. So, nagbebenta doon yung mga incubator. Incubate, sorry. So, doon nila na, ano na, okay, dapat pala, meron pa pala akong air fight. So, that's one way that we validate the product. So, and with the different enablers that we have, I know mas madami pang opportunities to um, grow the startup and contribute to the innovation ecosystem. So, that would be all for my presentation. Okay, so thank you very much, Ms. Catherine Amante. So, we have heard from the TBI manager from UPLB Cibol. And so, one thing that I have learned from her discussion is about the young pag engage you now in terms of the intellectual property and yung patent po, to protect as well the products, the services, and even yung mismong idea and concept behind the product itself. And of course, they are also facilitating yung kanilang um, supportive entrepreneurial culture within the organization, which help also translate yung mga output ng uh, mga researches and uh, kanilang mga activities into market value. So thank you very much po, Ma'am Catherine Amante, for that wonderful discussion. Yeah, so later on po, we will be hearing more of, of their activities from UPLB Cibol. Yeah, so they are also partnering po. Ayan, tama po ba? Partnering with other incubators, which also um, add up yung kanilang mga support dun sa mga incubators nila. Ayan. 
So thank you very much. So let's now move on with the next panel discussion. So we have heard from the activities and support coming from the incubators themselves on the side of the academic sector. Now let's move forward into the governmental sector. So we are in our next speaker is a senior science research specialist of the social economic and marketing section, technical services division of the Department of Science and Technology, Forest Products Research and Development Institute or DOST, FPRDI. So she graduated or finished Master of Science in Environmental Science, uh, major in Environmental Planning and Management at the University of the Philippines, Los Banos, and also graduating from the same university, Bachelor of Science in Applied Mathematics, major in Operations Research. So without any further ado, let's call on our virtual stage. So joining us via Zoom, the next speaker, the Senior Science Research Specialist and Manager of Forest Product, TBITSD from the Department of Science and Technology, Ms. Sarami Corazon Esteban. Ma'am, good afternoon po. Good afternoon, everyone. All right. So um, I'll be sharing my slide more before we continue. Okay. Uh, wait now. Okay. Wait. Now. Wait. I will run Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I hope uh, everybody can hear me. Please acknowledge. Uh, yes, ma'am, you're loud and clear, Paul. Okay, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the ICT and uh, Batanga State University for uh, extending the invitation to FPRDI. We are very grateful for this opportunity. So um, continuing with our discussion on connecting and building bridges through the consortium or the innovation consortium of South Luzon. So I would like to present to you today our take on what are the programs and initiatives of FPRDI as part of the ICON South the Sun for entrepreneurs in the forest products space industries in the Philippines. Unlike yung sinabi po ni Sir Diki kanina sila, technology agnostic, kami naman po ay we are more focused na sabihin na natin on forest products utilization and process, processing and utilization. But unlike uh, our fellow TBIs that are based on state colleges and universities, we are a full-time R&D institution, and we are also uh, entertained or we accept incubators from all over the Philippines or in different regions. So again, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sarah Esteban. I am from the DOST Forest Products Research and Development Institute. So I represent our technology business incubator office, which is now we call or branded as Tubo. So as we know, Tubo means in Tagalog as profit and it also means growth, which are the two most important uh, pillars of our intention for the local industry. So we cater to the wood and non-wood forest products industries. As an incubator in uh, based here in Los Banos, our mission is to provide technology business incubation services basically for startups and spin-offs who so are engaged specifically on wood and non-wood forest products processing and utilization. So our vision is to be able to go across the country, to be able to enable our budding entrepreneurs to be uh, well-established businesses on their own right. So we offer uh, technology, uh, mentorship and coaching on business innovation with technology application and entrepreneurship skills and of course very important the mindset 
basically our objective is to provide mentorship and techno and technical or entrepreneurial courses and trainings on wood and non-wood processing and utilization. So we also provide access to expertise, technologies, and facilities here in FPRDI and also our testing laboratories on wood and non-wood forest products utilization. We also facilitate and transfer in the transfer, adoption, and commercialization of FPRDI developed technologies on wood and non-wood utilization. So also part of our objective is to establish linkages and important partnerships in order to create more collaborative, enabling, and sustainable relationships among stakeholders in the industries that we cater to. And of course, it's more it's very important to encourage innovation among startups, spin-offs, and other FPTBI stakeholders in the regions. So basically, our products and services, so we provide FPTBI coaching. As you will recall, I am also part of the socioeconomics and marketing section, which also houses or we have other, uh, my fellow uh, colleagues here that are also experts in economics, forestry, business development. Then uh, uh, experts here in house in FBRDI extended to our startups and our spin offs. We also have uh, office space if there is a need for an incubator to have a temporary or a, an, a preliminary office space for them to establish their business. But uh, as of now, Normally, we all have our incubators as what we call as outwall incubators. So, kasi po, uh, if you will uh, notice, most mamaya pa makikita nyo, I will uh, provide you an outline of our existing incubators, and most of them are in the regions. And uh, medyo impractical po kasi na sila dito pumunta sa office, so we go to them. So, most of our operation actually is going to outwall incubation. Also, part of our services is to provide you access to FPRDI developed technologies. We'll be celebrating our 66th anniversary uh, here in FPRDI. So we have been developing and commercializing and transferring technologies on wood and non-wood forest products such as bamboo, our uh, plantation wood species, and also some forest uh, wood divines and other products as well. So along with that, we also provide you access to our experts who are also innovators on their own right and have been the authors and uh, inventors and makers of these technologies. And to provide you with more expert uh, analysis of any aspect or technical aspect of your operation in business. We also have here in FPRDI in Los Banos some processing facilities that we call uh, allow for rent use for our uh, incubators. So we provide facilities and equipment for rent. So if anyone is interested to avail of our services and our technologies, we just require them to submit to us an application letter and we also provide them an application form for them to provide us the basic uh, inform business information. Now, uh, ideally, we would like to uh, accept those that already registered businesses. Pero meron din po kasing nag approach din sa amin ng mga, wala pala silang business, but they have this business ideas. So we also try to entertain them and uh, accommodate them and classify them as pre incubates So we try to uh, men uh, mentor them and coach them on how they can come up kung wala pa silang business plan or a business model canvas. So we also facilitate and uh, help them identify their uh, value proposition or basically the foundation of a business that they would like to engage in. Now, uh, sa ngayon po, uh, we accept incubates and if they are, uh, if they comply with the necessary requirements, 
we ask for a 500 pesos registration for enrollment, fun time enrollment. And then we also have other fees na hindi namin pa nilalagay dito because it will depend on uh, what types of fees are applicable. So for example, if they're going to adopt or we were going to transfer a technology that is developed by FPRDI that is IP protected. So na-facilitate din po namin yung licensing fees. And if they're going to re uh, use some of our facilities or our office space, we will also ask for some rental fees. Since also FPRDI is a house, is also, also houses a lot of uh, product testing laboratories that are unique all over the Philippines, like our pop and paper testing, plywood testing laboratories, and our furniture testing laboratory, and other laboratories that are related to forest products uh, manufacturing. So we also provide, uh, we also ask the fees as what is uh, stated in, uh, or in, in our one lab. So again, if they need to, wala pa silang, in, uh, wala pa silang, enough capital to put up their own equipment that they could use for production and if it is available here in FPRDI we could ask them to uh, use it for rent uh for rent for a lease for a minimal fee lang naman ko, since we are also a government agency now just to give you an idea of what are our latest activities so just this year, so nadagdagan na naman kami ng two incubates. So one is from Kawain Collective and one is uh, Jose Inglés Enterprises, which is uh, engaged in essential oils and uh, health products. And then uh, since sabi ko nga kanina, we, most of our incubates are outwall incubates. So the use of uh, internet platforms are also important to, so, to us. So, kung may kailangan kami quick meetings or arrangement for other activities, so we do this online. This is also a platform that we use in order to connect with other possible partners. So, kung medyo malayo kayo sa Los Baños, we understand, but we can still converse through Zoom or through uh, FB Messenger chat uh, lines, then we will make the meetings possible or we are more accessible in that way. We also have seminars on like, like uh, ito na yung nauso kasi, ito na yung ating new normal. Eh. So since uh, hindi naman natin ma-invite yung mga taga Mindana or taga Visayas or somewhere in Far Luzon to just come here in a PR day in Los Banos just for a two-hour seminar, we would, put, uh, we would conduct it online para naman mas, ano siya, uh, mas practical and at the same time, we were able to reach more of our incubators in the regions. We also, so these are some of our activities this year. So aside from online, so ito, si Kawayan Collective is from Domaguete City. So she had the opportunity to come into the office. So inaano namin sa kanya. So we demonstrate the use of other equipment and also some of the products that are available here in FPRDI in our office. So as you can see, meron din kami mga experts that are available who they can interact directly with. So yun yung maganda sa BISC nila. Minamaximize po natin yan. That's also part of the services of TBI. And then we also conduct, so if they can come here in FPRDI, so kung may available coming laboratory facilities for them to uh, develop their products, like this one for essential oil, so we also allow them to use it for rental fee or depende po sa usapan yon. So we could always negotiate yung terms po ng ating engagement with our incubators as long as we have the resources or the equipment and the facilities available. And then, again, ito is another incubator that is also visiting us here in FPRDI. So kinoconnect namin siya doon sa mga experts na that could... Uh, answer his technical problems or if they have technologies developed they could already interact directly kung ano available and then kagaya din ng sinabi ng mga speakers before me uh, partnerships and collaborations and uh, benchmarking is also important so us so hindi naman pwedeng uh, we do not uh, live in a bubble so we also uh, depend or look to other agencies or universities that we could collaborate with, or in this case, 
with Kubo or, or with Launch Garage on how we could uh, help each other in helping, kumbaga enablers enabling also each other to help yung ating mga incubates. So it's actually communities working with other communities. Okay. And then here you have um, through our ICON South Luzon partnership and uh, collaboration. So we were able to meet with another possible partner, which is Itu Homestyle. This is a, they provide an online marketing platform for furni high end furniture market. So uh, they visited us here in FPRD and they were able to interact with our furniture testing. Uh, experts that are also handling yung mga pang-export furniture po. So now they are more aware or they understand fully now na ano ba ibig sabihin ng uh, world-class furniture. So it's not just about looking good but it also uh, being stable and also durable over time. And so ito, ganun din po. So ano kami, mas more hands-on approach kami. We don't just give them slides on pictures of equipment. But we let them literally hawakan yung equipment, demonstrate how it is used, and if they need it for their production, if they can improve their production, then we find ways on how to fund it through our funding partners or how they could uh, also look for other processes that could also improve their own uh, production. And then... We also uh, try to expose our incubators to uh, to national events to make them more competitive, more updated. So like this one, yung aming incubator from Sorsogon. So sinama namin siya sa Baguio. Here she is interacting with Mayor Magalong, the mayor of Baguio City. So nakita nila na all the way from Sorsogon, na market niya yung kanyang essential oils that she herself produced. So gusto namin expose yung incubate sa mga ganitong mga national and uh, activities outside even the region because if their products are should not be limited to just one area or local it should be it could go as far as it could yun ang aming mindset so yun um if you are interested in our services you can contact us directly or if you are just near here in Los Baños you could come here, visit us. We will show you around what we have in terms of facilities and we could introduce you to our experts. And then, of course, with our partner, the ICONS, uh, South Luzon, um, katulad nga yung nangyari kay Itu, they were the ones who connected uh, us. So, yun po, uh, we welcome partners also and uh, collaborations if... Uh, kung meron po kayong naiisip na where we could collaborate. So, marami na kaming mga technologies and uh, technical knowledge over the years and we would like to share it and be able to be more, uh, mas ano siya sa business, mas i-commercialize natin into, translate it into business enterprises na more sustainable. And I hope we could do that through our partnerships and collaboration. So, ito po yung aming mga re recent uh, incubates ngayon. So this one is from San Juan, Batangos. If you are shopping through la our Lazada Shopee, so you could see Super Uling. So that's our incubate. And then this one is on Bamboo Musical Instruments. Um, he's based in Cabuyo, Laguna. And then this one is a co-incubation with LSPU, another university, TBI. So on Tawa Tawa Micro Soaps. And then Ito yung kaninang nakikita niyo sa mga previous slides. So she is from all the way from Solsogon. So she, uh, her products could be accessed online with the Earth Plus Scent brand that she also uses. So makikita niyo po ito sa Facebook niya. And also, I think it's all, she's also available sa mga other shopping plat online shopping platforms. And then CI si Bamboo Agriculture Cooperative. This is our incubator all the way from Mindanao. So sabi nga namin, we also cross borders kung, kasi naandun yung mga resources natin sa bamboo. And Ibaco represents a group of uh, bamboo farmers who wants to increase their income and their uh, quality of life by having uh, more uh, added value to their products. So gumagawa po sila ngayon ng bamboo plyboards. So that's it um, for us. Again, I'd like to thank the uh, the ICT for inviting us, and I hope you learned a lot from the presentation. Maraming salamat po.
Okay, so thank you very much po sa ating third panel speaker. Ayan. So hopefully po we have learned and gained uh, knowledge about how we can also apply being an incubator from the Department of Science and Technology. So thank you very much po, Ma'am Sarah Mee. Ayan, so joining, uh, kindly also join us in a later while po for the panel discussion for uh, together with our um, um, on-site participants. Ayan, so thank you very much. So what one thing that I have learned from the Department of Science and Technology is that they are going uh, the extra mile. Instead of just um, uh, receiving their um, incubators on-site, they are going the extra mile and they are the ones na nagpupunta dun sa mga regional uh, areas to collaborate with the incubators. So that's a very one good thing that we can see na uh, they are also in line with supporting our incubators. So thank you very much po, Ayan. So uh, up for our last presentation for this afternoon. So to discuss po yung kanilang uh, idea about this um, concept as well. So that is coming from um, the Center for Technopreneurship and Innovation. So before that, um, allow me to introduce our third, uh, fourth panel speaker. So our fourth panel speaker has graduated Master of Science in Computer Science from the Patanga State University and Bachelor of Science in Computer Science from the same university. So currently, he is the center head of Patanga State University, Center for Technopreneurship and Innovation. And also, he was the pro program coordinator for the computer science, August 2016 to December 2020, and was also a special assignment from the Patanga State University Center for Technopreneurship and Innovation November 2014 to December 2020. So I guess everyone here, particularly among students, already know our fourth panel speaker. So let's give it up for Mr. John Richard Esguera, sir. Hello. Hello po, magandang hapon po. Hi. <laughs> Gising ba kayo? At medyo 3 p.m. na, no? So, siguro magsaserve na ng snacks maya-maya, ano? Um, thank you. On behalf of our university president, uh, we welcome you po to Batangas State University. Medyo late na yung welcome. Pero, um, we are very much welcome po sa mga visitors natin from outside the university. I, um, welcome po to Batangas State University. We are very glad that you were able to visit uh, Batanga State University, here po sa Science, Technology, Engineering, and Environment Research Hub. Um, yun nga lang, wala na tayong time para mag-tour tayo sa buong facility. But normally, pag may mga visitors kami, um, pinapakita namin sa kanila yung mga facilities and programs ng university on research and development at sa innovation. All right. Okay, so just a brief background po muna, no, from kung ano po yung, bata, yung uh, Center for Tech Entrepreneurship Innovation. So we're also a technology business incubator po based in Bat State U. And we were established po last 2014. Nakikita ba ako dito? Dito na lang ako. Dito na lang ako. Yeah. <laughs> so we were established po last 2014 and our very mandate po was to uh, um, provide startup support services for students, faculty, employees who would like to establish their own startups or business. And our very, very mandate talaga is to bring the R&D outputs of the university, commercialize it, and bring it to the market. So the university established the CTI, and Noon, ang TBI manager namin was um, Engineer Albert Sonamante, who's now the VP for Research Development Extension Services. And since then, I know, we've been running uh, different programs po to, una muna is to create an innovation culture in the university. Kasi mostly yung mga nag-graduate naman, gusto maging empleyado ng isang malaking company. But now we're creating a different path for our students. So baka meron sa inyo na gustong magtayo ng sarili ninyong negosyo out of yung inyong mga R&D outputs. And then we institutionalize, ayan, we institutionalize 
the technopreneurship class to all engineering, science, and technology programs. So every semester, we cater to around 1,000 students. Um, so that's kung five members to isang team, that's 200 startup ideas. And prior to the pandemic, meron kaming ano, malaking demo day sa gymnasium. Or noon, sa maliit na... Uh, sa kantin pa lang kami kasi maliit pa lang yung cohort. Pero as hanggang dumadami yung mga na-encourage namin to use our methodology of teacher tech entrepreneurship, so yung mabuto siya sa more than 1,000 students. So, yung mga merong potential doon sa tech entrepreneurship class na yun, doon sa nakita namin sa demo day, so yun yung mga ini-invite namin to be or to apply sa aming incubation program. Um, so yung incubation program namin runs for at least siguro mga six months. And then we provide them with training, mentorship, and access to funding also. So the university provides 50,000 up to 500,000 of um, R&D grants sa mga may potential talaga. Of course, subject to availability of funding po yun. Ano. Um, but the pandemic happened. And so everything they did to be um, on the virtual space because we didn't type anything, um, but gather you know, face to face. And then, isa sa nakita namin na challenge was, um, wala kami masyadong matap na mga students during that time because number one, they're really struggling, you know, in terms of yun nga, access to uh, learning facilities or learning doon sa kanilang pag-aaral, sa academics nila. And so parang, uh, parang naawa kami sa kanila na baka is, isama din namin doon sa incubation program. Baka lalo silang mas stress. Ano po? So, we also opened up our incubation program to professionals. So, we had our first incubation program. We call it the SCAN program um, sa mga professionals. So during the pandemic, sila din yung medyo may access sa mga facilities that can help us, help them join yung um, the incubation program on the virtual, on the virtual space. And then, um, later that, nung medyo naging com comfortable kami with working with professionals. So we now open, you know, the incubation program na din to both the students and the professionals na din. Ano po. Yun nga lang, medyo magkaiba yung mga needs nila. Kasi yung mga professional na mga startup founders, medyo mature sila. And ikaw ang hinahabol nila as compared to yung mga students na kama yung naghahabol mostly sa mga sudyante na or attend kayo ng mentoring session, kamusta na yung mga prototypes ninyo, come here sa facility, work on your prototypes. So yun po, for um, the Center for Tech Entrepreneurship and Innovation. Uh, next slide po. Sige po. Uh, move na po tayo. Sige po. Sige po. <laughs> Ayan, okay. Dito na lang. So, um, most of the mga programs po namin ng CTI um, came or anchored onto three major pillars of CTI. The Collaboration, tech entrepreneurship, and incubation. So in collaboration, we engage different startup stakeholders within the university and outside. So nag-uumpisa pa lang kami, mostly mga, we're creating an, an ecosystem, a startup ecosystem inside the university. Ano po? But after the incubation program, yung lagi nilang tanong is, what happens to us now? We're done with the incubation program. Saan na po kami pupunta ngayon? Ano? So, it also triggered parang um, it triggered a discussion on also creating an ecosystem outside the university. Kasi, yun nga, sabi nga, di ba, we do not have it all then. Hindi din namin lahat kayang gawin nyo. Parang si SM lang yata meron. Pero kami, hindi namin lahat meron. Ano? Hindi lahat meron. So, 
kailangan mag-access din tayo ng ibang mga resources outside the university. Sige po, next slide po. Nabanggit, na-discuss na natin. So yan, um, here on the Steer Hub, yun, most of our incubators can access yung mga research facilities namin. So hopefully, masilip nyo later paglabas. I encourage you na gamitin na lang yung hagdan para makita nyo yung facilities. So na dyan po yung, uh, of course, CTI, we have an Electronic Systems Research Center for Electronic Systems. Nandun po yung Research Center Head, Dr. Anton. Di Ocampo yun. Kawai naman, sir. Ayan. And then, a GIS Applications Development Center. Anything with regards to GIS or mapping. Um, nandito rin yung center head nila kanina. Si Engineer Erwin Rafael Cabral. Ayan. <laughs> And then, Digital Transformation Center. Artificial Intelligence, Machine Learning. Anything na software-related, si Dr. Alvin Alon. Nandito rin siya. Hi, sir. Ayan. Um, Material Science and Testing Research Center. Anything about um, material science and testing ng mga, um, let's say, temperature, pressure, uh, ele electric current. So, pwede, pwede sa MTCC. And then, we have the Fab Lab. Ano po, kung mostly saan Um, pwedeng i-fabricate yung inyong mga prototypes, in a, yung mga lab-scale prototypes, pwede po sa Fab Lab. Sige po. Lahat po yun pwede ma-access sa mga incubators. Ano po? Sige po. Next slide. So we've... Sige po. Next slide po. Yan. So marami na po kami naging um, externally funded projects before, including po yung kaka-approve lang ngayon na bagong funding for the Icon Software Zone, which I will discuss later. Sige po. Next slide po. So yan, by numbers, um, 114 startups na na-support, 107 na po yung graduates namin, pero yung mga graduates na ito, hindi naman lahat po talaga sila nag -fly. So yung mga 10% lang talaga yung nagtuloy after the graduation. So we're able to get funding from DOST, um, private investment, and currently nasa market yung kanila mga products. 35 jobs created and 25.5 million worth of investment sa aming mga startups. Next slide po. Yan. Sige po. Next slide. So yan. Um, continuing your discussion about creating an ecosystem outside the university. So, um, nagkaroon ng call si DOST Fisher to create a startup ecosystem Um, consortium in the different regions in, in the Philippines. And we were very to run the RECEED program, the hated RECEED program, and create or establish an ecosystem, startup ecosystem consortium in Region 4. Um, noon, kaya siya South Luzon kasi kasama namin si Mimaropa and Bicol regions. Pero recently, meron na silang ini-establish na sarili nilang mga consortia. Sige po, next slide. So, ito po yung current na mga members or ini-engage namin dito sa Icon South Luzon. So, mostly, so meron tatlo po kami, DOST Fisher TVIs, CTI, UPLB Cebol Business Incubator o oh, nagrebrand na <laughs> at saka po si De La Salle Animal Labs DOST shirt po kami and then we also have tatlo din po na DOST Picard TBIs naman mga Agri Aqua TBI ng uh, Cavite State University Laguna State Polytechnic University at saka po si DOST FPRDI andito si Ma'am Sara Mi kanina Um, maraming salamat po ma'am for joining us. And then, three other private um, enablers or incubators here in Batangas. Si Brainsparks po ng Faith, siguro pa kayo sa First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities. Si Nexus Innovation Hub ng Dela Salipa. At saka po si Center for Business and Innovation ng University of Batangas. And then, of course, 
yung iba nating government agencies, the DOSP, DTI, DICT, and NEDA, other higher education institutions, mga private organizations, and pub labs here in Calabar Zone. So lahat po sila are being engaged and are helping run um, regional startup events in South Luzon. Next slide po. So, ano ba yung gusto namin makamit? You know, um, ano yung gustong outcome na meron ng, ng Icon South Luzon? So, number one is to create a collaborative and inclusive community of various stakeholders. So, kahit sino entrepreneur, um, possible na mentor in the, in the region, mga startups, co-working, co-working spaces, HAIs, fab labs, lahat ng possible suppliers na pwedeng access ng mga um, startups natin, we would like to gather them and create a community na pwedeng ma-access ng mga startups natin. Ano pa? Provide startups and TBS with the resources and opportunities. Gusto namin consolidate lahat ng resources. Ano yung ibang, ibang, ibang mga programs ng government for startups? Nabanggit na natin, DOST, DTI, DICT, NETA, at yung iba pang mga NGOs are also providing such startup support. Mag-consolidate natin lahat, ilagay natin sa isang, let's say, a portal where startups can do shopping, kung ano yung kailangan nila, makuha nila dun sa portal. And also, yung iba't ibang mga programs, i-share din natin lahat from Calabar Zone, from Manila, or from outside the Philippines, kung ano yung opportunity na yun, ma-share natin sa ating mga startups or enablers. Drive the regional economic growth through the development of innovative and sustainable businesses while fostering a culture of collab collaboration and cooperation. So here in the consortium, um, we also promote various collaborative um, events. So like this one, maraming salamat, DICT and bye bye. <laughs> for enjoining icons for this event. We're very happy na we were able to share with you itong mga programs namin in, on Icon South Zone. So thank you po. Um, next slide po. So ano po yung mga regional startup programs natin? So number one, yung mga roadshows road shows and events po kami. So with the new funding that we get from the USDP shirt for so for two years, abangan niyo po. Kami po ay mag -i -i all throughout Calabar Zone promoting the startup ecosystem, promoting what is startup, ano yung iba't ibang mga resources na pwede nyo ma-access um, in the region and outside the region. We will also provide an acceleration program to some qualified mga startups in the region, partnering with an accelerator then. Um, implement policies. So, so nabanggit ni na ma'am, they're also creating policies inside their university. Pero we would also want to create policies then in the LGU or provincial level or regional level that can ease up how to do business in the region. Ano po? Um, establish more startup enablers. So kung napansin ninyo, mostly from Laguna, and Batangas. And then we have one in Cavite. And well, through yung ecosystem mapping namin last time, wala pa kami na identify na technology business incubator in Rizal and in Quezon province, provinces. So through the second or year two ng ICONS, we will be coordinating with possible enablers on, possible enablers on those provinces including Cavite din kasi nag-iisa nag si Capsu, um, para mas dumami pa yung mga possible na pwede mag-support sa mga startups natin in the region. And we're also going to um, identify yung mga angel, possible angels and VCs in the region then who can provide um, financial support dun sa ating mga startups. So, yun lang. So, Thank you very much po for listening. Um, later, through the Q&A, we'll be happy to answer some of your um, questions po. But if you would like to collaborate with us, you can email us 
or visit us here in, in our office sa second floor lang po. And magkaroon tayo ng exploratory meeting on how we can support you po on your startup or on your um, innovation programs po. Marami po salamat. All right, so thank you very much po, Sir Jix. Ayan, so I heard na madaming activities din ng ating um, Batangas State University and as well as the ICON South Luzon. Ayan, so thank you very much for discussing all of those initiatives and activities here sa ating startup conference and convention. Ayan, so um, before we proceed po pala with the uh, panel discussion or questions, we will be um, providing po one raffle entry ngayon. Ayan. So we will be, uh, courtesy of our partner, ayan. so we will be raffling one winner for three days and two nights accommodation at La Union. Ayan. Palakpakan po natin ang bye-bye PH. Thank you very much po. Ayan. So yung lucky winner po natin will be receiving one, uh, three days and two nights accommodation in La Union. Yeah. So yung spin of uh, wheel of names natin is here sa ating screen. So yung lucky winner natin will be chosen. Ayan. And of course, later on po, I will be inviting all of our panel um, speakers a while ago to be here on the stage para po sa ating um, uh, discussion, short discussion. So wait lang po natin ma-set up. Dinagdagan nila ng upuan so medyo kinakabahan po ako kung paano i- yeah, ano to yung panel discussion na to? Kanina kasi okay lang. <laughs> Social distancing lang po ba ang purpose? Ayan. So sige po, dun sa ating um, technical team, ready na po ba? Ayan. So once again, courtesy of our partner, Bye Bye In, we have one lucky winner for three days and two nights accommodation in La Union. So who's the lucky winner po, ma'am? Okay, spin na po natin yan. Ay, ah! Paki, paki ulit po. Ate Alpon, bakit ikaw? <laughs> Thank you daw po. Isa pa daw po ang... Um, uh, Ano ate apps? Wave mo daw. Oh, isa pa. <laughs> JBHGC. Andito po ba? Ayan, so once again, reiterating po, if wala po dito sa ating venue, yung uh, winner natin, hindi po natin siya mag-grant ng ating prize. And so once again, JPHGC, sino po ito? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, next, isa pa po. Wala po ata. Yan, we have another winner, Sir Anton Luis de Ocampo. Ayan, so we would like to invite on stage Sir Orly. Ayan, ah, of course. A co-founder po natin from Bye Bye In. Ayan, so we would like to call on stage po ang ating lucky winner, Sir Anton. Palakpakan po natin. Ayan. So yung, uh, okay na po ba? Ayan, Sir Arlie, you may... Ayan, sige po. Ayan. So we would like to congratulate po uh, Sir Anton Luis de Ocampo. Ayan, so yung inyong stay po is good for two, for tax. Ayan. Congratulations po. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, buti na di dito si Sir. Ayan. Isa pa daw po. Sir, JC Cueto po. <laughs> Joke lang. Gustong gusto makapunta. Ayan. So we would like to call or take this opportunity po para sa ating panel discussions. We would like to call on stage ang ating mga resource speakers. So we would like to call here Sir Dicky, if you may also proceed po here on our couch, we would like to also call on stage Miss Catherine and Sir Jiggs. And joining us virtually, we have Miss Sarah. Ayan. So, 
Yan. So if ever po may mga questions and clarifications po yung ating mga uh, on-site participants, please feel free po to raise them sa ating panel discussion. Ayan. Okay. So I have prepared here several uh, questions. Ayan. So hopefully magamit natin or um, hindi pa siya na-discuss a while ago. So if ever po, kindly um, inform me na lang po if this has been discussed a while ago or kindly reiterate your answers na lang din po. Ayan. So for the first questions po, ayan. So hopefully po working yung ating um, microphone. Na-check po ba? Okay naman po. Okay. Sige po. Ayan. So sige. Yung first question po natin, we have heard Sige, uh, isa-isa na lang po nating i-open po. I think nag-feedback. Okay. Yan, sige. So, we have heard po kanina yung individual activities or initiatives coming from the De La Salle Animal Labs, even yung um, UPLB um, si Paul, even the DOST yung activities nila, and as well as coming from the ICON um, South Luzon. So, right now po, being one with the ICON South Luzon, what are the uh, activities that you have uh, conducted or you are conducting in terms of collaborating and leveraging the respective strengths to drive innovation within the region? Hello. Hello. Yeah, okay. So, um, so for the past... Ilan na ba? One year pa lang naman, ano? A few months. Um, we've been, so meron na kaming initiative on yung sa benchmarking event namin where we uh, went to different enablers din in Manila to learn kung ano yung mga, um, kung paano siya nag-create ng ecosystem also in NCR. And isang magandang nakita namin doon is yung networking events nila doon sa um, NCR. And so kapag may mga namimit kami doon na mga possible partners ng mga incubators namin in Calabar Zone, so ini-endorse namin sa kanila. So for example, yung kanina nabanggit ni Ma'am Sarah May, yung um, si Itu. So na-meet namin siya on one of the networking events sa Manila and then in-introduce namin sa kay Ma'am Sarah Mee. And then, meron pa with, may na-meet na kami from um, IP Works, Pinoy IP Works, which we have introduced din sa mga partners namin. Baka they would also want to um, parang maximize yung ino-offer na programs ng Pinoy IP Works. And then, meron kaming mga initial discussions on co-incubation. So, I believe si De La Salle University um, have had a, meron silang incubating na pinakilala sa Batangas State University na possible na maging co-incubating -inc co namin ni De La Salle. And then, ongoing yung um, review ng aming um, agreement. Ano po? Um, ano pa ba mga events natin? Roadshows. So, may mga roadshows kami. Um, last year with the ICT, yung kanilang startup um, startup mentoring uh, feedback sessions with the startups. So, I think we had mentors coming from BrainSparks, from De La Salle, si Sir Dicky nag-mentor din, and ako din during that time. So, yun din, um, access sa talent, um, something that we've also been doing. Um, pero mas marami ngayong year 2 na mga events na we also plan especially yung mga hindi masyadong noon pero ngayon dadalasan pa namin yung mga networking events namin for year for year 1 dalawa pa lang yung networking events na nakoconduct namin and mostly in Batangas pa lang pero we also want to do it in Cavite Laguna Rizal and Quezon Rizal and Quezon mostly kasi very nascent sila sa startup culture. Okay, so any... Uh, ayan, so we have heard po yung mga several activities that... Um, one of the objectives of the consortium is to do the mapping of the different uh, provinces in uh, Calabar Zone. 
um, we want to map their startup development ecosystem to find out to what extent each of the provinces is uh, supportive and actively promoting uh, startup development. And DOST wants us to then, after doing this mapping or this early assessment, we're supposed to visit uh, the uh, provinces, maybe talk to the province, uh, maybe there's a um, province development board or planning and development, planning and development board and help them develop their, set up their development programs so that they could reach a higher level of uh, startup uh, development activities. No? Some provinces already have, for example, you know, uh, startup month or a startup week for the whole year, or they might be supporting, um, find, helping some schools develop their own maybe STEM programs or set up uh, activities among the universities within the province. So that, that's one of the major things, and that means that we'll all be traveling to, to each of the five provinces to, to promote this. Okay, so thank you very much Paul, for those inputs. Any other inputs, Paul? Siguro add ko lang yung, uh, in addition to that po, is yung Regional Startup Week. Siguro it, that's in preparation to the larger Startup Week we have in the country. And yung mga newsletters then for dissemination to the stakeholders. Okay, so thank you very much. Simi Sarami po, a few... Apologies po, nagkakaroon lang. Yan, okay na po. Ayan. So, Ms. Sarami, are there any other inputs po that would like to um, share with us? So, I have um, a series of questions, follow-up questions lang na I don't uh, think parang uh, hopefully related then dun sa inyong mga na-discuss. So, sige po, uh, Ms. Sarami po. Uh, no, I think um, Sir Jigs already covered most of the, the what we have done so far and actually, uh, we are looking forward to more uh, activities wherein we could meet. It's it's really a matter of meeting as many people and as many communities as we can so that we could know and understand. Um, yung sabi nga ni Sir Diki, saan pa tayo, where can we uh, put our efforts more? San pa tayo pwede, saan pa tayo kailangan? And um, FPRDI is just a phone call in a way. We can, we can all, uh, readily, ano, kasi kami naman po sanay din kami ng biyahe. As you can see, we can go everywhere Kasi may given lang ng enough time to ano, to prepare. But uh, yun, um, uh, from our own experience, uh, maganda rin po sana na we, co we could also collaborate with, uh, mamaya I think um, part ng program is yung other government agencies who are also supporting the innovation ecosystem. Kasi alam ko meron pong programs, not just for DOST, but DTI and I think also DNR and are also have uh, other um related activities na baka we could also we, we could also uh, collaborate with them sir na para lang din yung ating mga assistances hindi siya redundant mas efficient siya so kung kasi may inaalagaan din pong mga incubators or entrepreneurs or industries din yung mga ibang government agencies and i think uh, it's a matter of uh, yun nga uh, complementing each other so we sh we should also uh, ano sir siguro, sa, I would suggest na we also uh, try to also connect with yung mga other uh, supporting government agencies. I think meron parts sila ng program after this uh, discussion. So malalaman natin ano pa yung where we could also collaborate with them. All right. So thank you very much po, Ms. Sarah. Ayan. So we have heard po yung mga activities that they have conducted already in terms of the ICON. Um, South Luzon and as well as in the side of the academic or academe and the government sector. And so once again, thank you very much for all those inputs. Po. And so moving forward, we I have, I have another question here. The Center of Technopreneurship and Innovation plays a crucial role in fostering entrepreneurship within ICON's South Luzon. So um, can you share or elaborate even further po, on how this center supports startups and aspiring entrepreneurs in the region? So are there any other resources or programs that are available or if ever na may mga unavailable resources? Is there a way where the Department of ICT or any other agencies 
na in support of the startup activities can uh, dig deeper and para support din sa, ating, sa ating Center for Technopreneurship and Innovation. Hello. Okay, so um, prior, prior to Icon South Luzon, meron kaming isang program pa na niran with DTI, DOST, NEDA, PCCI. Um, we call it, it's the Regional Inclusive Innovation Center of Calabarzon. Um, it is dubbed as the linking innovation networks in Calabar Zone, competitiveness in Calabar Zone. And isa sa um, program o yung mandate talaga ng RIAC is to consolidate yung mga innovation resources in the region, make them available to all in Calabar Zone who would want to venture in innovation more specifically in in support sa mga MSMEs natin so yung mga partner universities ko meron sila mga intellectual property na pwedeng ma-adapt ng mga MSMEs or possibly ma-license sa mga MSMEs so yun yung it's the RIC yung um, tumutulong na magkaroon ng discussion from that so dahil nagkaroon kami dahil naglead kami ng RIC it it was our stepping stone then to lead the Icon South Luzon kasi kausap na rin na consolidate na namin yung mga resources and kausap na rin namin mostly yung mga TBIs and line agencies in the region so kaya nakapag um napayagan or kasi itinanong namin si UPLD and si Pasama namin noon, si Sir Ness, ano po, doon sa, uh, sa Calabar Zone. Initial meeting namin who would want to lead the Icon South Zone. And so, um, kami po yung na, uh, parang nakapagkasundoan na mag-lead for the Icon South Zone. Kasama pa namin noon si, yun nga, si Pete B, at saka po si uh, BU, si Bicol University, TBI. And dahil may mga ongoing discussions na kami with the different line agencies and the different TBIs din. At prior to that, meron na rin kaming mga initial na mga collaborative activities din through the RIAC. So, kaya nabuo namin yung um, Icon South Luzon din. Um, so, yun nga lang, nag nagkaroon lang ng konting conflict kung sino ba maglilid ano kung RIC ba or the Icon South Luzon for the startup development. But we were able to create naman a way to delineate yung responsibilities between RIC and um, Icon South Luzon. Okay, so thank you very much. For... You know, I, I just wanted to add, there are so many other schools within the region that are not yet uh, active in the sense of uh, uh, talking to entrepreneur to the students about entrepreneurship and startups and so on. And um, we need to activate them. I don't mean necessarily creating new TBIs in all of these schools, but we can, we can be the TBIs that assist them also. For example, we're located in Binyan, Laguna. Right across the highway from us is that Mapua University. It's got another name. Is that Mapua? Malayan. It's a university. It's right there. We've got two La Salle schools in Cavite. La Salle uh, Medical School and uh, De La Salle Das Marinas that need to be activated. Just in Santa Rosa, you've got St. Scholastica. Is it UE, UST, or, and then NU in... In Calamba, right. And then I think Lyceum is there. So there's so much. Uh, these are potential resources that can be activated. We have to put them on the track of uh, development so that over the next couple of years, they can start uh, uh, supporting uh, startups in their own uh, campuses. Okay, so thank you very much. That's actually one of my questions then, Kanina. So... May mga institutions nga po tayo that are not yet activated in terms of their incubators or not yet prepared 
in terms of accepting mga incubate so is there any parang sort of a plan then into considering into parang powering them up parang donating resources sharing resources para uh, at least sa kanila on their own makapag uh, incubate din sila in the near future then so is that uh, parang nag come into mind then within the icons south luzon hello Okay, so um, for the track two or year two ng icons, um, talaga parang one of our mandate then is to help yung mga less active provinces na maging active in the startup community. So yung na bangit namin si Rizal, Quezon, and Cavite, isa sa yung tatlong provinces na yun yung medyo Uh, nascent pa sila in terms of the startup culture. May mga startups din doon, kaya lang hindi namin matrack kung nasaan ba sila and saan sila currently nag-access ng mga startup resources. Um, we know Rizal and Cavite na sobrang lapit sa NCR. Tama ba ako? Yes, oo, sobrang lapit sa NCR na isang jeep lang access. Nandun na sila mismo. ano malapit na sa Quezon City sa sa Marikina sa Makati sa Pasay so malapit so baka dahil wala doon sa kanilang provinces they, they can just easily go to NCR then to get um to access ito mga resources so hindi naman sa ayo namin silang pumunta doon <laughs> pero gusto namin ilapit yung resources doon sa kanila ano para mas mabilis yung progress nila or develop it ng mga startup. Uh, na, di, hindi ata nabanggit. Yung sa Quezon kasi, yung isa pa doon, mas, medyo mas malayo kasi siya eh. Ang katabi na nung Quezon ay Bicol, halos. Tapos Laguna. So, isa yun sa part na ipofocus din namin. Actually, ilang beses na yun binarin ng picture kasi yun talaga yung need niya ipofocus. those three areas. I think Cavite is, it's because malapit siya sa mga, yung, ang tawag na, industrial park. They have a lot of commercial areas there na we can capitalize. And yung Quezon nga, yung medyo malayo from halos na, no? Yung Calabar. <laughs> right, so thank you very much po for that. Any other uh, Just to let you know, if it looks like we're going to get very busy, over the 24 months that's a 24 months that's supported by by DOST we have to do a lot of organizing starting up uh, getting momentum going with all of these less active provinces cities schools etc because after the 24 months there should be enough momentum among all of this to keep on going even without us being busy. This thing cannot just die down on the 25th month. It should, we should put them on some kind of a trajectory so that they can kind of move on, on their own. And then we'll, you know, I don't know what kind of sustainability. We'll have to develop a sustainability business plan for icons so that it doesn't just die out But it cannot be as active as it is going to be within the two-year DOST-funded period. And I think that's one of our, that's going to be one of our challenges, no? What's going to happen after two years. All right. So thank you very much. I have a question Sir DK about the Department of Science and Technology. So Ma'am Sarah, is there any parang plans po ba or any, uh, we know that um, the Department of Science and Technology are also providing fundings or mga assistances in terms of these kinds of activities for incubators. So are there any other parang additional supports or plans that are um, we are going to be looking forward in the near future in terms of um, assisting yung ating mga um, localized areas, particularly yung mga Quezon provinces, which is uh, medyo malakit, malayo talaga siya in terms of kabihasnan. Mm-hmm. Yung medyo malayo yung... Um, Uh, tawag ito, supply chain in hmm. terms of delivering them kasi medyo far flung na kung matatawag. Ayan, so hmm. siguro po, uh, is there any plans on uh, parang uh, activating other TBIs in that uh, sort of areas po, ma'am? 
Ako, sir, personally, I would like to recommend, if it is possible, uh, Sir Jigs, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is it possible that we could establish a satellite offices of icons in yung sinasabi ni Sir Dickie na mga areas na meron pang mga uh, universities or SUCs na nasa, or mga universities, not necessarily state-owned, ano, state na uh, pwede natin. For example, sir, sir Dicky, since sinabi nyo na malapit sa Lasal, sa isang uh, campus ng Lasal, yung mga iba na wala pang TBIs, is it possible that we could have a satellite uh, office of Icon South Luzon hosted by DLSU para pwede nyo nang pupuntahan? Kasi they, um, from our experience po, the way would, uh, since sabi ko nga kanina, we have experiences na kami yung pumupunta talaga dun sa kung sino may kailangan ng tulong. So in this case, lalo na pag mga far-flung areas, they need a physical space where they could go. And actually, isa rin sa challenges yan sa operation ng ating mga local DOST, o- DOST offices. But I'm sure mamaya si um, uh, some of our colleagues for, um, from the DOST family or the DOST, DOST community would also tell you na meron naman pong uh, may mga programs din po yung ating mga local uh, DOST regional offices and DOST uh, provincial uh, S&T centers na pinoprovide uh, through, so sila yung nagiging conduit po in terms of access dun sa setup programs, sa CES, sa mga community-based uh, empowerment programs nila. We have this, ano, and I think this will be discussed also later. And um, from our part, yun lang po, um, I would like to suggest, if it's possible, kasi um, tayo, we already have that part uh, collaboration as a consortium sa Icon South Luzon, and it's good. And I, I am glad that we had that opportunity to to connect with each other. We can use that uh, as a platform. Na yun nga sabi ni Sir na we could host. Kunyari malapit. Unfortunately, FPRDI na sa ano din kami, na sa bundok din kami na Mount Makiling. So hindi masyadong feasible sa amin ang satellite office. But yung sinasabi ni Sir Dike na, for example, sa may iba siyang lasal na campuses na malapit doon sa mga pwede pang nating i-assist or maging mentor tayo sa kanila. Maybe we could put up a, ano, uh, and connected na lang doon, sir, sa ano. Uh, parang ang host ni Lasal. If, ano yun, suggestion lang naman. Alright. Kasi they need a physical, you. ano, place and office where they could go to, eh. Yun yung lagi naming nakikita. That would, para doon sila pupunta. Uh, yeah, actually, that would be a good idea because uh, when I think about where Batangas and UP are, it's a little farther south than than where we are now. I'll I'll, uh, I'll explore that. I'll take it up with the Laguna Campus Office. Yeah, so thank you very much, Miss Sarah, and of course, yeah, thank you, sir, very much, din po, sir Diki, for acknowledging that uh, suggestion. Because yun nga kanina na banggit din ni Miss Sarah that. Um, the Department of Science and Technology, they are personally visiting yung mga sites, which is very, parang sabihin natin, limited then in terms of resources then kasi they will be needing to travel from Manila, pupunta pa ng Mindanao, but instead of having such satellite offices in those uh, remote areas, mas mapapadali yung ating pag-reach out dun sa community. At yun nga, uh, mas direct na rin yung ating mga magiging assistances in terms of that. Um, activities. And so that leads me into this uh, next uh, question directed towards DLSU Animo Labs and um, UPLB um, Cibol. And so South Luzon is a diverse region. So we have uh, discussed or you have shared kanina that Kalamba or Laguna is known for their um, uh, industrial parks. And so for harnessing them, pero hindi natin na bibigyan ng um, parang importance or somehow parang um, acknowledgement. Yan, the word is acknowledgement, yun mga areas na medyo malayo in terms of the supply chain. So how does ICONS South Luzon ensure inclusivity and representation across various fields of innovation? And as well as, are there any efforts to engage with underrepresented communities or sectors? Ayan. So kumbaga po, kagaya ng mga smangyan, is there any parang um, uh, activities that we are trying to promote in terms of um, the activities of ICONS South Luzon para ma-promote yung kanilang mga uh, rights and responsibilities as well. So yung mga industrial parks as well. For, uh, wala sa plano namin pa yung mga indigenous people 
if tamang tanda ko. Pero within uh, na strategic plan naman, I consider sila, given the na uh, yung women for gender and development, we already consider them also yung youth. So it's in the strategic plan, but not um, pangayon sa implementation. Um, for others, meron namang indigenous people, mostly Rizal and um, Quezon. So, siguro yun is one thing that we can look at again. Kasi pag talaga pupunta ka doon, it's pupuntahan mo talaga sila. Hindi sila yung pupunta sa'yo. So, biyahe din yun. And we need to plan kung ano yung uh, madadala namin. Kasi they have their own practices. And we cannot just um, bring what we do. So, we need to listen first then to what they need. For the industrial parks, um, we met last time with uh, Laguna Chamber of Commerce. And ayun, mag-reach out pa rin kami sa kanila kasi we're looking um, for investors. And usually kasi pag yung mga ganung group na, they have the networks na. So considering them, isa siyon sa ibibuild namin na network. Okay, thanks for mentioning industrial parks because they're just a stone throw away from our from our Laguna campus no so that's uh, that's one market segment that we can uh, we can uh, service but uh, we're also in touch with the Philippine Chamber of Commerce South Luzon and the PCCI really represents the MSMEs so that's another market segment that we should try to uh, to reach out to uh, through the PCCI. And then our Dus, our Dus Marinas campus has just received a major DTI uh, shared services facility funding. They put up a huge fab lab, I think, no? And those fab labs are used, are meant not only for the university research, but they really meant also for servicing medium and small mid, um, enterprises. So since we're going to bring in De La Saldas Marinas as part of uh, ICONS, we can talk about helping them work into that uh, MSME there. Okay, so thank you very much for from the LSU Animal Labs and as well as UPLB Cibol. And so I guess uh, I uh, I have one last question. So anyone can um, answer naman po. Ayan. So building a culture of innovation and entrepreneurship is crucial for the long-term success. We all know that. Kasi, uh, but in order for us to motivate and of course um lead towards uh, success pa, we have to also innovate ourselves and as well as um capacity build our um selves and as well as yung atin po mga constituents. So how does Icons South Luzon promote and nurture this culture within its member institutions and the wider community? So are there any educational or capacity building programs in place or parang naka set up? sa ating mga um, uh, initiatives in the coming future po. Okay. So, dun sa activities namin, so, yun nga, nabanggit, may mga roadshows kami. So, part nun, yung mga Startup 101, um, and then, what is icons, and how do we engage them dun sa consortium. Um, part din ng, uh, ng program namin ay yung capacity building for enablers or yung mga TBI personnel natin. So, currently, may nine TBIs in Calabarzon and we're going to engage in others, enablers then who would like to educate them on how to run an incubator or how to run a co-working space or a fab lab. And then, there's also an education program for would-be angel investors. Um, so, nagkaharap din kami ng mga pot may potential din na maging angel investors kasi isa nga yun sa nakikita namin na wala pa masyadong organized na angel investment in Calabar Zone. So, that's also part of our uh, program din po. Yeah, so thank you very much po, sir. Are there any other inputs po? Okay na? Okay. Uh, Miss Sarami, is there any other input po that you would like to share? Uh, just reminded na so, siguro, sir, pwede nating i-add sa pwede nating target na for promotion of our efforts sa ICONS is also, I don't know if there is an association of 
OFWs kasi sila mga kasi sigurado mga OFWs they have uh, money to invest kaya nga sila nag-work abroad eh, because they have this build up capital so th- this group is a nascent group matagal na namin din iniisip kung paano din namin ma-access paunti-unti lang yung from our F- experience ng FTRDI pa isa-isa lang yung nakoconnect namin in terms of ano sana maging incubate but um Uh, I think uh, we could still further explore kung baka meron silang associations yung mga OFWs kasi in terms of investment some of them I know are gusto na nila na kung makapag-build up sila ng business dito sa sa Pilipinas they would gladly just go back here and um, yun nga pero yun nga hanggang wala pa silang nakikitang business na to run here na sustainable kaya sila they're driven to go outside the country. So that's one uh, group na I think we could also explore. And yun nga po, aside from uh, kung mag-ano tayo ng LGUs, uh, ina- isa ko rin iniisip na strategy is pwede naman natin isabay sa mga, kung meron silang mga uh, occasions notable, like, although it it sounds cheesy na, no? pero yung mga fiestas, kasi doon naglalabasan yung mga tao eh. So if they have this fiesta, so kung meron tayong parang conference or ano na they could then about and to promote entrepreneurship and to encourage. Do yun yung mga opportunities na hindi pa natin na explore. Ano ba yung mga occasions? Ang mga Pilipino mahilig sa fiesta sa ano. But we could explore those ano and most probably yung mga sponsors sa mga events are LGUs which is also part of our target na in terms of collaborating with them yung pag-build up ng entrepreneurship na uh, based communities. So, yun ang isa sa mga inisip ko. Ito yung mga hindi pa namin masyadong, ano, and I don't think FPR they can do this alone. This could this should be a target or a collaborative effort. Since isang group na tayo, I think we're more, sabi na natin, more powerful as a group kasi we have more minds that could, could think of how do we do this. But this is the strategies that I would like to... Uh, to suggest if it's possible also. Kasi hindi pwede tayong puro school at lang. Kasi hindi naman din puro students ang entrepreneurship. We could go outside. Uh, ano, yun nga, even your mga alumni networks are also, uh, could be also targets for uh, the incubation. So meron tayong mga alumni din na working outside the academ uh, realm, but they're also, enter- but they could be entrepreneurs. So yun yung mga nakikita ko bang strategies that we could also explore. Okay, so thank you very much po, Ma'am Sarah. Ayan, so we have heard, I agree dun sa sinabi po ni Ma'am that we have to also um, parang target yung mga sectors na medyo vulnerable. Yan nga, yung mga OFWs kasi yun nga, uh, hindi natin alam kung bakit ano yung reason nila, kung bakit sila nag abroad So baka, in a way, we can also aid them to um put up or start up their own businesses through yung mga initiatives na mga pinopromote din ng ating mga TBIs and as well as ng Icons South Luzon as a whole. And so thank you very much po. Uh, at this point, I would like to um encourage everyone, if you have questions, uh, please feel free, uh, raise, raise your hand para po malapitan ko po kayo and erase natin. And so I have uh, a few questions here po. So uh, if you may all take up some of your time pa po, uh, we would like to raise uh, siguro two to three questions pa. Hello, good afternoon po. I'm Christian John from Rizal. So, I'm very grateful kasi ano, I was invited here by Miss ano, IPD ano, uh, Zendi of the ICT. So, actually we have the group this we called it ano, uh, Rizal Startup. So, one of the uh, I'm one of the founder of that group or community. Uh, we started that last 2019. Uh, with uh, headed by uh, late PD Mercy of DTI. So uh, when we when we started that uh, group, ano, um, ilan lang kami. So we actually we want to map up, uh, map out yung ano lahat ng results startup. Kasi sa, you mentioned a while ago, isang tumbling lang talaga NCR na. So yun nga, uh, ang nagiging house talaga namin siyan sa Kubo, sa Large Garage or ma- mga other ano uh, incubation incubation program um um et- actually i'm very grateful kasi uh, nandito ako ngayong hap or nandito ako today because um yung result startup na yon we want to 
let's start that group again. So maybe you can help us, especially uh, with the help of the ICT um, Rizal or si Ma'am Zendi mismo will ano, be able to lead us on that on that mapping again. Hindi, actually, we, yung goal namin before why we started that community is to help the SMEs by DTI. Uh, DTI. Pero kasi ngayon, um, actually, we wa- we are the one who developed the ano, Tindahang Rizalenyo, if you're familiar. So it's an e-commerce platform. Ang goal namin ngayon, or personally, my goal is to ma-awaken lang yung mga startups sa Rizal. Kasi yun nga, kasi malapit lang talaga yung NCR eh. But of course, meron kasi mga startup na sobrang hindi nakikilala dun sa NCR or dun sa ecosystem ng um ng startup scene. Ngayon, gusto naming mabuhay ulit yun. Um, sa akin, um, if needed ng help sa company namin, we are the DNA Solutions. So we created IT solution and also uh, mga services na ano. We have also startups under us. So logistics, we have also development and also if you're familiar with Yasmi. So yun yung ano, yun yung ginagawa namin sa Rizal. And meron kaming office doon sa Rizal. We can use that for any events or any um yun um co-working or anything that you want to do. We want to engage with Icon. Actually, hindi ko alam na may Icon pala. <laughs> That's true. So I'm very grateful that uh, I joined here right uh, today kasi yun nga We want to ano restart the Rizal startup. So if you want to ano to yun nga to have yun may fab lab din sa Rizal. Uh, meron din kaming ano we we are doing a lot of things in Rizal actually. Pero na stop siya because of some sort of na hindi na na prioritize yung mga ginagawa. So ngayon we want to open that up. So hopefully that you can help us. You actually that's my question. Matutulungan niyo ba kami? <laughs> so, yun po. Thank you. Okay. So, yes naman. Yes na yes. Ano? Um, so, we can collaborate on some of the road shows that we're going to do, especially sa, sa Rizal. Tinamiss Kat ang ano, assigned sa uh, mga road shows. Pero may kita mo rin kami doon. Ano? Um, and then kami din kasi we are kami yung assigned sa mga less active provinces. And hindi, hindi din namin alam na there is Rizal Startup, nag-ecosystem mapping sa, sa Rizal last time. Hindi ko sure kung nahagip natin yun, honey, ano, and love yung Rizal Startup. Baka mai, mai, ilalagay natin siya sa ating mapa. Actually, ano po, um, if you're familiar with um startup ni Roby. It's all about the, ano, um, actually, na-award din siya ni BOST, eh. Pero, yun nga, there's a lot of startup in Rizal na medyo known na. So, yun yung, actually, kalsama ko sila na nag-establish ng startup Rizal. And, yun nga, we want to collaborate again in terms of, not, kasi ang goal talaga namin is to engage with some of the small businesses in Rizal, eh. So, how yes. can we help, ganyan, to develop uh, systems, websites, everything, Uh, help them to ano to engage with their business pero ngayon kasi we want really to ano to materialize yung Sara Prizal sige po sir um you've mentioned that you are also helping MSMEs we're also running a different program ara AC4A naman so yun naman yung yun naman yung kanyang uh, program naman ano innovation or any technology that can be adopted by MSMEs so si Handy din ang assigned doon Handy connect with connect tayo sa ano, Rizal Startup. Um, how can we help match or iba pang mga startups na sabi nyo nga po parang naglaylo or parang nawala. Para meron pa tayo isang startup, di ba, dati na incubate na naman na medyo nawala na din uh, from Rizal din. So, San Mateo Rizal siya. Taga San Mateo Rizal. Um, yun. Um, let's collaborate, sir. Ano po, we'll keep in touch Uh, but maybe give me a calling card later. Yes, po. Yes, po. Okay, so thank you very much, po, sir, sa inyong question and thank you very much po for answering. So, kanina nga po, just to give you an assurance, yun nga po, discuss ng ating 
um, DLSU and UPLB that they are already opening up dun sa mga universities outside of their own campuses and as well as kanina na discuss din ng ating Center for Technology and Innovation that they are already open for accepting yung mga professionals It's aside from dun sa kanila mga students itself and mga profesh, uh, mga teachers rather. Ayan, so that's good news. Ayan, so hopefully po, we are looking forward as well from the Department of ICT for a fruitful collaboration between the uh, activities of Rizal, Rizal Startup, and of course, Icons South Luzon. So any other questions you would like to raise po sa ating panel? Ayan, so thank you very much po, sir. Any other questions? So we are accepting um, two more questions. So if there ating panel discussion. So thank you very much po sa ating pong mga uh, resource speakers, Sir Dickie. Palakpaka naman po natin from DLSU Animo Labs. We have also here Ma'am Catherine from UPLB Cibol. Yan. And of course, uh, si Miss Sarah coming from the Department of Science and Technology. Thank you very much po, Ma'am. And of course, si Sir Jiggs coming from the Center of Technology and Innovation. Thank you very much po sa ating apat. Ayan. So, Ma'am Eve, I'll be now turning over po. Sige po, you may now um, proceed po sa inyong um, tama po ba, Miss Eve? Ayan. Sige po, Miss Eve. And thank you very much po, Sir Jesse. JC! And of course, to our panelists here po in front, maraming maraming salamat po. And just to acknowledge po no, our panelists and to give our heartfelt gratitude, so we are awarding po the Certificate of Appreciation. So I'll be calling po again, um, Mr. Orly, Sir Arjen, Ms. Apple, ayan, and Sir, and si Sir Jigs na dito no pala, to award the certificate. All right, so while we are waiting po, yeah, so just let me read first the citation. So this Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to for sharing her or his invaluable insights and expertise as a resource speaker during the startup conference, building a better future, connecting and empowering young Filipino entrepreneurs, organized by the Department of Information and Communications Technology, Vision 4A held on June 7 at the 5th Floor Stir Building Hub, Bat State U, the National Engineering University, Alanginan, Batanga City, given the 7th day of June 2023, signed by our original director, Charles E. Ortec. Okay, so the Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Ms. Sarah May Corazon Esteban, and also this the same certificate is also awarded to Mr. Federico Gonzalez. So the same certificate is also awarded to Mr. John Richard Esquera. And last but not the least, the same certificate is also awarded to Ms. Katrine Amante. And so you we're taking a photo opportunity, of course, with Ms. Sarah Stevens adding Zoom. All right, so once again, thank you very much to Mr. Federico Gonzalez, Ms. Katrina Mante, Ms. Sarah May Corazon Esteban, and Mr. John Richard M. Esquera for a very meaningful and inspiring discussion. And also, we would like to thank you, our moderators, Mr. Jose Carmelo Cueto, 
And Ms. Jerica Dalisay, our moderator from this uh, AM session. All right, go. Pag na nating patagalin pa. So at this point, our IIDB focal for Region 4A is here with us to discuss the digital startup development and acceleration program review. So let's have a big round of applause to Miss April Rose H. Clemeno. So, thank you very much, Ms. Eve. So, dito na lang po ako sa baba. No? So, ngayong araw po, ano talaga namang siksik at liglig yung mga natutunan natin at narinig natin sa iba't ibang speakers po natin. Of course, from our partners or early sa ating mga panel po kanina, sa mga startup founders po natin. And our icons, South Luzon Consortium. Yan. So nakita po natin na talaga namang napakadaming activities, napakadaming programa, napakadaming projects po ng iba't ibang ahensya, ng iba't ibang organizations para isupport at uh, tulungan itong ating mga startups, yung ating mga future founders ng ating uh, country. Yan. So ngayon talagang tinitingnan namin kung ito bang mga estudyante po na present today. Yan. So baka natik yung mind nila na hindi lang pala ako pwedeng maging isang empleyado, pero pwede pala akong magkameron ng sarili kong company. Yan. So talagang nandyan naman po yung support ng iba't ibang agencies. So to start, Yan. So medyo ano tayo, talagang live na live po tayo ngayong araw. Okay, so kaya po tayo nagkakamera ng mga ganitong start of conference because it is one of the project and initiative of our department, the Department of Information and Communications Technology. So now, titingnan po natin ano ba yung programa itong ating department in which we are supporting different startups all over the Philippines. Okay, so to start, so the ICT Industry Development Program, this is the specific Bureau po in which it is the one who are tasked to implement, to develop, to monitor, and to evaluate yung ating mga ICT industry programs, especially for the countryside. So together po with the different lead bureaus of the department, we are working hand-in-hand. -hand. We are collaborating with, it, with it, different agencies for us to achieve yung goal po natin, which is one of the DICT's mandate to ensure the sustainable ICT industry development jobs promotions po natin. Okay, so next slide po, sir. So before we start for the Digital Startup Development Acceleration Program, uh, I want you to walk through ano po ba yung batas na nakapaloob dito? So saan po ba nanggaling yung ating Digital Startup Development Program? So first, yung last 2019, the Republic Act Number no. 11337 was enacted to provide supports and intervention interventions for different startups. So nakita po natin at nakita po ng ating gobyerno na kulang yung ating mga initiatives, yung ating support, yung mga programa po para uh, makapagbigay ng tulong sa mga startups. Ano? So makikita nga din po natin based on our previous mappings in different locations Hindi namin alam na meron pa lang mga ganitong startups in these areas or in these locations kasi sabi nga po ng iba, marami sa mga startup natin nagtatago or parang hindi masyadong nakikilala or hindi po masyado siyang lumalabas sa ating industry. Okay? So together with the different lead agencies, of course, we have the DOST, the DTI, and the Department of Finance, we are supporting our startup industry. So specifically, we will see on the Section 7 to 8, the benefits and incentives. Section 11, the start of grant fund. And of course, Section 15, yung ating startup Philippine website. So later on po sa ating mga uh, upcoming slides, mahikita natin ano-ano yung mga specific na programs and initiatives po ng ating department, specifically the IIDP. Okay, so the Philippine Startup Development Program, 
So its objectives include support the research and development, promote access to programs, support participation in the local and international events and competitions, support collaboration, support the development and growth of enterprises, and develop policies. Okay, next slide, sir. And so this slide lang po will show you the different programs and initiatives of the three main lead agencies of the government. So makikita po natin that we have formation, validation, and growth. So from the ideation hanggang growth po ng ating mga startups, we have different supports from them, for them. And so makikita po natin, usually, the DOST are catering the small, medium enterprises. Ano yung mga interventions na kailangan nila? And the DTI naman po focuses on the expansion. While the DICT focuses on the early stage of startups. Kaya kung makikita nyo din po, from the uh, previously uh, call for application of our startup grant pad, makikita nyo po that we are catering ideation to minimum viable product of startups. So yung mga early stages of startups po, talagang binibigan natin ng opportunities para yung kanilang mga idea ma-test ma po natin at ma-validate. Okay, so next slide, sir. So what is startup? So kanina po sa ating mga panel discussions, mas naging clearer po yung ating uh, pagkakaintindi ko ano ba yung startup. And from the discussions of the startup founders, nakita po natin ano ba yung mga challenges and issues po na kanilang... Um, na experience at nakita po natin ano ba talaga yung uh, sinasabi natin na startup. So based naman po on Rule 2, Section 1 of the Implementing Rules and Regulation of ISA, so startup is a person refers to a natural person who is Filipino citizen or foreign national. An entity refers to a juridical person registered in the Philippines including but not limited to company, partnership, joint venture, cooperative, or associations that aims to develop an innovative product, process, or business model. So yung sample po natin of the successful startups includes but not limited to Kumo and Mint. Okay, so next slide, sir. And so we know that startup ecosystem are composed of different sectors. So makikita po natin sa screen, and ano po ba yung mga sectors na ito? So that includes universities. Yun pong ating akadim. The service providers, research organizations, big companies, support organizations, and funding organizations. So from this po, makikita natin na when we say startup ecosystem, does not really mean lang po that the startup founder itself. But we have different enablers. We have different sectors who are working together, collaborating with each other to form the startup ecosystem. And of course, as mentioned earlier, we have the support from different government agencies and from different organizations. And so to have a quick overview lang po of our startup ecosystem, so based on the Department of Trade and Industry, the Philippine Startup Week 2022, so currently we have 35 plus incubators and accelerators, 200 plus co-working spaces for our incubators, 1,000 startups, 50 plus angel investors, and 40 plus venture capitalists. So makikita po natin from different years na talagang there are increase in the startup uh, industry. Okay, so this one naman po, top sectors by number of Philippine startups founded each year. So makikita po natin na yung pinakamataas, yung pag-increase po natin is the e-commerce. In which we all know din naman po na talagang nagbubus po, especially nung pandemic, digital marketing and e-commerce. Sila po talaga yung mga nakikreate na mga startups all over the Philippines. Iso, these are some of the graphs po, no? number of startups by funding stage and startups by industry. Okay, so kanina na mention din po ni, ni, ni Miss Kat ano that we are uh, parang medyo mababa tayo sa ranking but uh, the Philippines are trying it, its best to remain to be part of the top 100 startups in the global startup ecosystem index report and from this po since uh, from the previous year we have ranked 50 
53, then 52. And from the previous poll, we have 57. So, nag-decrease po tayo. And from this, nakita po ng government natin that we need to support aggressively our startup ecosystem. That's why we are continuous po sa pag implement on different programs and initiatives and why we are uh, raising this awareness and uh, promotional campaigns for our startups that we have the support from the government itself. Okay, so the ICT industry, so as mentioned po kanina, ano, we are under the ICT Industry Development Bureau of the Department of uh, ICT. So these are all the different sectors we are catering. And startup is one of the most important uh, ecosystem that we are working with. Kaya po we have this digital startup development and acceleration program. Okay, so next slide, sir. So these are the five main programs and initiatives of the department. So we have the skill. So ito po yung startup community and local enhancement natin, which is also known as the startup mapping. So kanina nababanggit po ng ating mga participants as well as yung ating mga speakers, ano, yung startup mapping. So yung current and yung uh, latest na namap po natin na location is Batanga City in partnership, of course, with the CTI itself and the uh, Tanay Rizal. Tay Tay Rizal. Yan, with Miss Joey Cruz. Yan. So nakita po natin from that, gaano na po ba kadami yung mga startup enablers, startup founders within that specific location. And from that, makikita po natin ano ba yung mga interventions, ano ba yung dapat programs and initiatives po na kailangan gawin ng different agencies. Ano po? That includes also the availability of co-working spaces, ano ba yung mga um, issues and challenges po na nararanasan ng ating mga startup founders. So from the race itself, so this is part of our race program. This is Startup Conference kasi we are promoting the startup and of course, we are raising awareness. Ano po, especially in our young uh, generations, we are uh, looking at the possible opportunities that the startup industry are bringing to our uh, new generations. So that uh, Startup Awareness Project includes different learning and advocacy promotions from Startup 101, 102, 103, and other PSC-related events and activities. So for the Step-Up Acceleration Project naman po, uh, this year we will be conducting this Step-Up Acceleration Project in partnership with the Icon South Luzon, with the CTI. Ano po. We are just finalizing our uh, final uh, program for this one. So meron po tayo mga magiging incubative for this. So for the startup grant naman po, this is the latest uh, approved project of the DICT. So previously po, ang mahikita po natin na startup grant is usually from DOST and DTI. So now po, meron na rin pong startup grant si DICT. So previously po, we have the call for applications. And so we have seven total applicants from the whole Calabar zone. And for the last one, we have the Startup Philippine website in which we are looking forward this, that this will be the main portal of our startup enablers and founders. All our activities will be posted in this website and that includes also the registration of our startups. Okay, so next slide, sir. So looking uh, forward, we are uh, adapting the Startup Founders Journey. Talagang inisa-isa po namin, ano ba yung pinagdadaanan ng startup? So from that po, from different key points of a startup journey, we identified specific programs, specific activities that will support specific startups. Kaya po, nagkameron kami ng five main projects and activities of the DICT. Okay, next slide, sir. Okay, so ito, I have mentioned naman po yung mga specific key points of the different programs that are presented earlier. Yan, so the scale, yung ating mapping. And for this year po, we will be mapping one of our digital cities, which is General Trias. Okay, next slide po, sir. Next slide, sir. And so, in addition po, we are also one in uh, conducting the Philippine Startup Week. 
So it's a whole week of events all about startups. So we featured uh, different startups, different founders, their experiences, their journeys, and we are promoting collaborations. We are promoting a collaborative community of startups. So ito po, uh, these are sponsored usually by startup enablers together with DICT, DTI, and DOST. Okay, so next slide, sir. Next slide, po, sir. Next slide. Yan. So the Philippine Startup Challenge. So I will not be uh, explaining this now po kasi later, meron pa po kong isang slide, and we will be focusing on the Philippine Startup Challenge. So si Batanga State University po uh, have joined our uh, PSC 7 last year. Okay, so next slide, sir. Okay, so next slide po. And so, to share lang po, these are our accomplishments for the different startup programs and initiatives of our department. So, we have a total map uh, locations, 21. We have 80 plus regional awareness activities. We have joined the Pilipin Startup Week. We have uh, successfully conducted the PSC 7. We have piloted our acceleration project at Bicol. We have public consultation for the start of grant fund, and this was also approved and released. And hapag call for applications na po tayo last uh, May 26. And we have the startup open website, and we already have 17 published article. And it's ongoing um, updating pa rin po. But uh, currently, nakakapag accept na po tayo ng registration for our startups. Okay, next slide, sir. So the DSW partners are presented in your screen po. Ano? So yan po yung mga, uh, some of the main partners of our DSW programs and activities. Okay, so next slide, sir. Okay, so to continue po, I will be continuing my discussion for the one of the main programs and activities of the DSW, which is the Philippine Startups Challenge. So now in its eighth year. Okay, so we are uh, inviting all our students, our senior high school and college level students to join us in this Philippine Startup Challenge 8. So same with our previous years po, ano, our target are aspiring students whose startups are between the stages of ideation to minimum viable product. So these are relevant ICT products and services that are the solutions or will provide solutions to different societal problems. So as mentioned kanina po, ano, nung ating mga uh, research speakers, especially yung pong ating mga TBIs, may mga na-mentions talaga sila na may mga incubators sila, may mga students po sila na meron mga ganitong project. So we are not limiting po that these projects will be in the center of the far corner of their rooms or classrooms but pwede po natin itong i-share all over the Philippines. Kasi dito po sa aming PSE, sa Philippine Startup Challenge po, we are inviting angel investors and other um, uh, agencies who are supporting startups. Kaya we will be providing po talaga the interventions of the startups who would win our PSC. Okay, so for our objective, Provide an avenue to develop entrepreneurial mindset. Provide feedback to enhance startup ideas. Foster strategic partnership and networks. And generate a pool of startup founders. So ang maganda po kasi dito sa ating uh, competition, ano, um, nakakakuha po tayo ng mga ideas from our judges, our mentors, who will see ano pa ba yung kulang din sa ating startup. Or more likely naman po, baka meron pang kailangan tayong itwist dun sa ating startup. So it's a collaborative, uh, engaging activity for our young generations. Para makita din po natin ano yung mga opportunities that we are looking forward. Okay, so next slide, sir. Okay, so for our entry coverage, we are covering uh, and accepting any programs po that are software or IoT-enabled technologies. So for our uh, PSC challenge naman po, for our journey, so we will be having our mentors bootcamp this coming July. And then from that, 
we will call um our call for application are already ongoing. So kung makikita nyo po, you may visit our Facebook page, Region 4A Calabarzon, the ICT Region 4A Calabarzon. Mayroon na po kami mga posting doon regarding our PSC8. So we will be providing different FAQs din po para mas maintindihan pa po natin ano ba yung mga dapat po nating i-ready if we are interested. And I hope you are all interested to join our PSC8. Okay, so from that, from your call for applications, we will be uh, screening your entries po. Ano? So titingnan po natin kung pasok po tayo dun sa ating mechanics, dun sa ating entry coverage. And if in case naman po na medyo kulang yung mga documents po, binabalik po namin yun dun sa team or for the students para makomplete po hanggang dun sa final deadline po natin. And then from that, we will be having our regional competition. So we are looking forward din po na makandak natin siya ng face-to-face -face just like uh, last year. So after our uh, regional pitching competition, we will be having our semifinals and then finals. Next slide, sir. Okay, so for our uh, PSU requirements, so these are the requirements. So registration in our portal or the registration form, you will be providing a video pitch, three to five minutes of your startup, and then the pitch deck in PDF form. Yan. So we will be providing naman po yung ating template para itong ating mga estudyante po um, talagang makakapag-submit ng no, mga kailangan po nating requirements. Okay, next slide, sir. Okay, so to uh, mention lang po, ano, para magkamera na po tayo ng idea, if you're interested in this PSC 8, these are some of our criteria, the points to consider in judging our uh, our entries. So we have viability, relevance, impact, creativity, and presentations. So titingnan lang po natin kung yung startup ba natin, talagang yung specific na minention nyo po, na problem in our society is yung ating startup, yung ating idea, yung talagang makakaprovide ng solution. At we will see ano ba yung impact po nito. Sino po ba yung makikinabang? So ano ang ating target beneficiaries? And gaano po ka-creative yung ating uh, startup o yung ating idea? Okay, next slide, sir. Yan, so as mentioned po kanina, we will be having our regional pitching competition. So all first place winners or champions po from different region shall be endorsed to the central office to compete during semifinals. So each region po magkakamayan ng representative for the semifinals. So for Calabarzon and NCR po, what we are doing with our team is that we are um, conducting a startup mentors bootcamp. Aside from that one po that mentioned kanina, to ensure na ito pong mga teams po namin makakapasok sa finals. And luckily naman po, from the uh, launch of our PSC8, lagi po tayo nagkakamera ng spot sa ating pong finals. Okay, next slide, sir. So, for the semifinals, magkakamera lang po tayo ng table judging. Two-week period po yun. And then for our finals, this will be in... It's either... Palawan or Bohol, we will be holding a face-to-face -face, uh, Philippine Startup uh, Challenge Finals. So, if you heard before po yung Geeks on a Beach, yun. So, the idea po is bubuhayin po natin yun. So, that is also in partnership po with our Bye Bye in Hand. Yan. So, yung ating Philippine Digital Nomads. Okay. So, next po, sir. Next po, sir. Yeah. So for the winners and prizes, there will be five winners, one grand champion, and four runner-ups who will be receiving the following prizes. So we have prizes from different startup partners, comprise of gadget, devices, and non-tangible rewards such as opportunities for mentorship, technical trainings, among others, PSC trophies, and PSC certificates. So to mention lang po ano, uh, our second runner-up before, who joined our PSC for student category, joined some of their um, co-winners uh, in China to have a uh, benchmarking with them. Italagang uh, nilibot po nila yung mga companies doon who are 
startup uh, based companies. Yan. So meron din po talaga tayong mga iba pang trainings na pinoprovide po sa ating mga winners. Okay, so that's all po. I know it's a very uh, long day. Yan. So I know um, napakarami po nating natutunan and uh, we are just reminding everyone, every student po who are with us today that our government agencies and uh, DICT po will be there to support you and to provide uh, programs that you will be needing for your startups. So thank you very much po. All right, thank you so much, Miss Apple. So as we heard, as we all heard no, then sa discussion ni Miss Apple, the, the law mandate startup, para ma-familiarize tayo to the fact na nag exist ang startups dito sa bansa natin or dito sa Philippines. And also, yung government natin, meron as like he, uh, we in the ICT, we have uh, activities na magsusupport para doon sa ating mga uh, innovators or yung tinatawag natin na technopreneur. So if you want to be updated, so regarding dito sa mga pinilipar namin activities, so again, kindly stay tuned lang po or just like our uh, FB page or DICT region for a color person to be updated. So, yan. So last but not the least, so one of the main part of this event, so we also invited the founder of uh, the Rock, PH. So who will share to us an insights on embracing the journey? So this is from uh, the contestant to the catalyst in the startup industry. Yeah, and so ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome and give a big round of applause to Mr. Ron Oliver Clarine. Okay, hello po. Um, I'm Ron Clarine, the founder of ROC.ph. So ROC.ph is a, a limited uh, creative marketing as a service platform for fixed monthly fee. So I'm here not to pitch. Kasi tatlong beses na ako na pitch. I'll just, um, I'll just give you the, what is the, my journey in, as a startup founder. So next, next slide, please. Okay, so I started 2008. So um, I, I, I came from a Catholic school, a well a well fed family, yung nga lang na bankrupt. <laughs> so um, from that 18 years old, um, I have to struggle na magaling estudyante and then um, kukumita ng pera. So I've been in a virtual assistant. <laughs> so I do web development, Project management, graphic design. So, did he discard it? So, after a few years serving international clients, let's take this. In, in 2010, my kuya died. Okay, so after six months, my mom died. And then, um, and then after after 10 months, kung ko nalaman, mapaporklose na pala yung, yung bahay namin. Yun. So, sabi ko, anong discard na dapat itong gawin? Mag-VA pa rin ba ako? Outsourcing with, with foreign clients? Siyempre, malaki kita doon. Aminin naman nating lahat. Yun. So, next slide, please. So, I started to jet registered as in DTI. Registered. Pagpasok ko doon, sabi nila, Toy, anong gagawin mo dito? I remember Ma'am Rebecca and Ma'am Rev. Um, they are the, region, the provincial of, of, of the, uh, officials in DTI. Akala nila, may kasama akong parent mag-register ng business. <laughs> Kaya tawa ko ng tawa noon that time kasi wala pa lang mga katulad nating mga young entrepreneurs na gusto mag-register that time. Yan. So after that, in-invite nila ako sa Go Negosyo Mentor Me. I'm one of the youngest um, batch one ng Mentor Me program. So doon ko nalaman na meron palang business plan, meron palang uh, 
registrations of BIR, and then so on. So it really helped me a lot. And one of the mentors told me, bakit puro international clients yung gusto mong i-focus? Siyempre, plan ka ako, gusto ko ng maraming pera. Kasi mo mong pa-close nga yung bahay namin, di ba? Yeah. So, for that, why don't you serve Philippine MSMEs? That's a time that I, I revamp 100% ROC.net. So, I create a service platform. Yeah. So, Um, and then been recognized by uh, by Gonegosha Sign Up Summit no 2019, if I'm not mistaken. And I've been one of the um, regional speaker ng DTI and Gonegosha for 2020. Uh, uh, no, 2018 pala yun. 2018, sorry. Okay, so next slide, please. So... I launched the service platform by 2019. As in zero, katapos may utang pa. May loan sa kaibigan, may loan sa family, and so on. So, wala, wala akong venture capital, wala akong acceleration program na pinakil. Kaya ang swerte ng mga magpa-participate sa PSC. Yeah. So, from zero, from 300, And then January 2020, I have 1,000 clients, subscribers. So next. So in 2021, I joined Philippine Startup Challenge for professional category. Una, hindi ko alam kung paano mag-pitch. Kung nga alam yung five minutes eh. So I undergo with... I know some of the startup founders know this. Um, sa Y Combinator, Y Combinator or YC. Um, I have, there is a called Startup School. And then I undergo with that. Gumadwit ako doon. It's free. Yan. So, and then doon ko nalaman yung pitching. Yan. Okay, so... And then I won as a first runner-up sa regional. And that time, pandemic, isa-isa kaming nawalan o nagka-virus. Yan. So, yung nandoon kami sa semifinals, wala talaga akong boses. Hindi ko nga alam na kailangan palang i-galitong friends na nandito yung pong mukha ko eh. Hindi ko alam yon totally. Kaya that's why I understand na hindi ako makapag-move doon to the next level. Kaya, and then, I want to secure then yung health ko nung time na yun. Yan, so, so, sabi nga lang isa sa mga mentors na ako, narinig ko doon, chamba ka lang. Kasi nakapasok ka sa semifinals. So, sabi ko, pagkating na gumaling ako, nagawa ko ng paraan para sa market approach ko. So, next slide, please. So, after that, na, na, uh, binigyan tayo ng opportunity ni DICT for last um, last year na maging panelist ng successful startup. And nabigyan din ako ng opportunity to have a, a panel seat sa Digital Pilipinas as a market marketing technology um, startup. And isa po ako sa top 100 um, tech startup by Kubo ng Philippine Startup Week. So I'm proud to say na um, sabi nga ni Ma'am Apo, kaya mo yan kasi um, kahit pa paano na matatawid mo siya doon. So, pero syempre in, the, in our team I learned from the challenges, the risks, and how can I solve it from the experience. Kaya nga swerte ng PSC yun na ng mga programs na to kasi mamiminimize natin yung mga risks from, from our mentors na well experienced. Okay, so after that, I've been receiving a um, speaking gigs from LFT. Our Lady of Fatima University, CAPSU, uh, 
Cavite State University. And then recently, naging mentor din ako ng Asian Institute of Management uh, for their master um, um, students. Okay, so next, please. So this year, I've been, I already designed a MOA sa DTI Cavite as an online mentor for marketing. And I've been participating for Gonegel. Go negosyo for mentor. So, I think this year in Calabarzon, mag-start na sila sa Cavite ata this month. Yeah, and so, and as of, as of this December 2022, uh, we are the first Unlimited Marketing Services or MAAS platform in the Philippines. We have 1,500 client subscribers. And we already done 3,000 marketing consultations. And we, we created a website of creation, maintenance, and graphics as, uh, for the tasks for 200,000 tasks. So, yun yung, yun yung mga nagawa na namin analytics or metrics na ginagawa namin. Um, to be honest, by end of this June, double na namin ng number. So, um, that's why um, sa general trias, um, ang pinakamaganda last year, I fully acquired yung property next nang na-foreclose na bahay ng parents ko. Nakatawang isipin, di ba? Katabi. <laughs> so, I take the challenge and and moving on, I'm hoping na marami pa kaming mga MSMEs na pwedeng matulungan dahil is para lang sila nagsusubscribe sa Netflix at they can um, create or ask um, graphic design and website consultation with us in, in the just simple click sa website namin. Okay, so next slide please. So I'm hoping that we have more collaboration um, so, um, to, to voice out what we are doing sa ROC.ph and hopefully marami pa kami matransform na MSMEs and professionals. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Ron Oliver Clary. Ayan. Thank you, sir. So, meron po ba tayong question kay Sir Ron before we proceed po to the next part of this event? Ayan. Baka meron po kayong question or may gusto kayong i-clarify or i-consult sa ating uh, speaker. And So, sige po. So hearing none again, once again, kung, uh, thank you so much po to Mr. Ron Oliver Clarine of Rock That Be. So again, uh, a big round of applause po to Mr. Ron. And so at this point po, we call again Mr. Ron Oliver Clarine here in front. So just to acknowledge team po your uh, shared insight. So we are give, having uh, giving our heartfelt gratitude by giving this a uh, certificate of appreciation. All right, so may we call on Paul once again, um, Ms. Apple from the DICT Region 4A, together with uh, Sir Arjun, our provincial officer, and also Mr. Arli from Bye Bye Hub. And we also invite um, Sir Jit from the Icon South Luzon. Ayan, nandito po po ba, Sir Jix? Ayan, sige po. So while we are waiting, ayan, so let me first read the citation. So this uh, Certificate of Appreciation is awarded to Mr. Ron Oliver Clarine for sharing his invaluable insights and expertise as a resource speaker during the Startup Conference Building a Better Future, Connecting and Empowering Young Filipino Entrepreneurs. 
So it's organized by the Department of uh, Information and Communications Technology, Region 4A, held on June 7, 2023 at the fifth floor, Stirha Building, Bat State U, the National Engineering University, Alangilang, Batangas City. So given the 70th of June, 2023, signed by original director, Charles C. E. Ortega. And so once again, thank you very much, Mr. Ron. And so, sige, we invite again po uh, Mr. Orly and Sir uh, Jig. Yeah, and so at this point naman po, we will give our heartfelt gratitude or our uh, uh, grateful recognition then sa ating mga partners. So, syempre, in partners with them or not because of them, hindi rin magiging successful din itong event na to. So, yan, I'll be calling again Miss Apple and of course, as Sir Arjun. To award the certificate. So again, uh, let me read this uh, certificate of appreciation. So uh, this certificate is awarded to in grateful recognition of their invaluable support during the startup conference, building a better future, connecting and empowering young Filipino entrepreneurs. So organized by the DICT Region 4A, held on June 7, 2023 at the fifth floor of the Batanga State University, Alanglian, Batanga City. So given the 7th day of June 2023, signed by original director, Charles C. Ortega. So this certificate of appreciation is awarded to by buying hub. So the same certificate is also awarded to the Icon South Luzon. And so once again, thank you, Paul, Mr. R.D. of Bye Bye and Help and Sir John Richard Esguera of the Icon South. All right. So before po to proceed, don sa ating uh, last raffle, yung raffle natin, I think this is the Nomad Workstation Retreat Package. So inclusive of three days and two nights of accommodation to Shargao. So I think it is worth of 10,000 pesos. So there is an event ticket din po provided worth 13,000 and this is good for two packs. So again, this is from our partner by Buying Hub. So before we uh, wrap up this po, no? so let we have a uh, wrap up lang this po of this program. So at this point, may we call on again Mr. Arjuna Sol, our provincial officer of the DICT uh, Batangas to wrap up the whole event or this startup conference. So have a big round of applause for this, Mr. Art. Hello. Again, magandang hapon po sa lahat. First of all, I would like to thank all the guests, especially for those guests coming from other provinces, yung mga Tagakabite, Laguna, uh, Rizal, may Tagakeson province po ata. So thank you so much for programming. And of course, sa ating mga resource person, panelist, and sa Batangas State University, thank you so much po, Sir Jigs, and uh, the rest of the uh, faculties. So wrap up ko lang po ng mga bilis yung ating whole day session. So this is the key takeaways na pwede nating baunin sa paghuwi natin sa kanya-kanyang uh, Tahanan. So the first, uh, with technology, everyone now can be a digital nomad, sabi ng ating uh, baybayin. Sir, curious lang ako, sa pangalan bang baybayin, it is from the root word na bye-bye. Yeah, okay. So kaya pala more on travel. Oh, okay. Yeah. So balang dalawa yung ibig sabihin. Bye-bye to travel and bye-bye na literal na sun. Tama yun. So ngayon, totoo yun. So with technology, 
hindi na lang tayo confined ngayon sa ating mga offices, sa ating mga baha, sa ating mga permanent location para magtrabaho and of course to start a business. So second, so bringing a startup idea into reality is, is is very challenging. So kung di nyo po natatanong, actually, uh, ako po ay personally meron din akong startup two years ago. So I work abroad. Umuwi ako sa Pilipinas. I started a small IT business. So nagran lang siya ng dalawang taon. <laughs> Napakahirap talaga ano. Mahirap isustain. So but with the support of our incubators and partners, ma-overcome natin yan. Especially in terms of mentoring. Siyempre, as a startup company, mahirap, especially kung limited yung idea natin. So with our incubators, matututo tayo sa kanila because of their experience. And second, of course, yung access to facilities. So as a startup company or nag start ka pa lang, you don't have the facilities. So yung mga universities natin and other incubators, meron sila mga facilities. facilities. And of course, yung funding. Uh, malaking tulong sa atin yung funding. And the second takeaway na pwede natin madala is yung uh, ang pag-create, creating a startup business is a lifelong learning. So it does not start, uh, stop on putting a startup business. It is a continuous process, ika nga. Patuloy na matututo ka while uh, running the startup business until na kahit nga maging successful ka na, marami ka pa rin dyan matututunan. So second, uh, yun, nakuha ko naman coming from uh, ma'am, from ma'am from Kat, is syempre kailangan ipatent natin yung mga ideas natin. It is important sa mga startup businesses. So may kailala ako dati when I was in Bicol. Uh, I also attend uh, training coming from IPO with YPO. Uh, Doon diniscuss kung how uh, yung pagpapatent ng mga ideas natin kahalaga sa mga startup businesses. So second, uh, we can, uh, next pala, we can improve business environment by partnering with universities and government entities. So yung mga universities natin as well as kami as part of the government, we are trying to give our full support to these startups. And uh, yun. So sa ngayon kasi, we are not just promoting being a regular employee. So we are also promoting right now by uh, encouraging those young young minds to create a business, to start a business. Ika nga, kung hindi ka makahanap ng trabaho, gumawa ka ng trabaho. So by doing a startup business, once you get successful, definitely you will produce more jobs to our fellow Filipinos. So kagaya ng mga successful, successful technopreneurs natin, like Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, lahat naman niya nagsimula sa mga maliliit. Siguro familiar naman kayo sa kwento ni, Zucker, ni Mark Zuckerberg, di ba? So he started from uh, mga magkakasama lang sa college, sa college, sa masa, ano, MIT, until na pumunta sila sa kanilang garahe. Ngayon, look at uh, Facebook. Ayun. Or meta na ngayon. So napaka-successful na. So, ngayon, as a challenge naman to our audiences na nandito, so sabi nga kanina ni Sir, or meron, meron tayong, uh, I think, two panelists nagsabi, maging, ano daw, be crazy. Ayan. So, kasi yung idea natin, once na nag-start pa rin tayo, most of the people, ti, uh, parang tinatawanan tayo, sasabihin na, ano ba yung idea mo? Uh, so, we're just like crazy. So, be crazy. Yung mga ideas natin also, uh, we need to execute. So, hindi pwedeng idea lang. We should execute the idea. Although, it is difficult, you will face a lot of challenges in uh, making it a reality. We need to, ano, 
Kasi kung imagination lang yan, it will retain in your mind, hindi ka magkakaroon ng resolve. Failure man yan o success, there's a learning on that process. So yun po. So hindi natin alam, baka in this room, nandito yung next uh, Elon Musk, sino pa? Bill Gates or Zuckerberg. So yun, thank you so much and good afternoon everyone. And thank you very much, Mr. RJ Dasul, for that I wrap up. So, ayan, so ready na ba tayo for the raffle? And so, technical team, so kindly flash a little po our uh, spin the wheel window. Ayan. So, before we have this closing remark, so sige. Ayan. So, again, the winner of uh, this raffle will receive the Nomad Work. Vacation retreat package inclusive of three days and two nights accommodation at Shargao. An event ticket worth 13,000 pesos and this is good for the two packs. And so before we announce po no, the winner, so may we invite po the founder and co-founder of the Bye Bye and Have here po in this front po. Yan. Yan, si Church. together po with Mr. Arlie. All right, so ready na po ba? So again, uh, kung sino po yung mapipili sa spend the well, so make sure po na nandito po sila ngayon. So kung nag-register man sila kanina and wala rin po sila dito, so hindi rin po nila marireceive yung prize. So ayan, so I guess we're ready na po. Ayan, sige sir, kaya hindi spend the well. Miss Angel May Aquino. Ayon, ma'am. Can you be on? Ibi-wave na daw po ni Ma'am. Sure ka, Ma'am? Sige mo. Iwi-wave na daw talaga ni mo. Mama, ano ba? Ano talaga mo? Ayan, ma'am. Si ma'am po kasi, uh, OJT siya sa amin sa DICT. So, ayan. Oh, so, nagdadalang issue siya kung tatanggapin niya. So, ayan. So, for the last time, ma'am, sure na talaga. I-wave ba natin? Wala daw kasi siya makakasama. <laughs> ma'am, sure na? Alright. So, sige po. So, another spin the wheel. Yan, Mr. Matthew Kuliat. Andito po ba si Sir? Ayan, si Sir. <laughs> Siya na yata yung makakasama mo, Mama. Isama mo si Ma'am. <laughs> Sige, Sir, dito. <laughs> sir Matthew. Sir, taga saan po sila? So, 
again, congratulations po, sir. So, thank you, sir. Ayan, sige, sige. Ma'am, sama ka dito. Kasama ka daw niya. <laughs> And so, once again po, congratulations, Mr. Matthew Kali. <laughs> And so once again po, thank you very much po to our partners by Buying Hub for uh, this uh, prize po of uh, No Mind Workation Retreat. And so to formally close this event, so we have po the head of the Technical Operations Division of the DICT Region 4A to deliver her closing message. So let us all watch this video. Good afternoon to each and every one. Of course, our Undersecretary, Yusek Giselle Batapasike, our very able and well-rounded panelists, the resource persons, to the officials of the Batanga State University, the National Engineering Re University, Dr. Inquilio, Engineer Amante, Sir Jixus Guerra, Director Emily Dulfin of the IIDB, Director and officials of the DOST and the DTI, the Baybayin Hub, our Regional Director, Director Chelsea Ortega, Ms. Apple, the IITB team, Provincial Officers, colleagues from the ICT, and of course to our very energetic and dynamic participants. Again, good afternoon. As we come to the end of this remarkable startup conference, we are filled with a sense of gratitude, inspiration, and hope. Over the day, we have witnessed the power of innovation, collaboration, and entrepreneurship. We have heard incredible stories, learned valuable insights, and connected with like-minded individuals who share our passion for building the future. The ICT would like to express our deepest appreciation to all the panelists, the speakers, the workshop facilitators who generously shared their knowledge and experiences. Your expertise and wisdom have provided us with invaluable guidance and inspiration on our entrepreneurial journeys. So this conference is also a testament to the power of collaboration and strength of our community. The connections we have formed here will undoubtedly continue to flourish and lead to exciting partnerships, investments, collaborations, and more collaborations. So remember, no startup is an island, and together we can achieve far greater heights. So thank you all for being part of this startup conference. May your entrepreneurial spirit continue to thrive, your ideas continue to disrupt, and your impact continue to resonate in the world. Let us forge ahead, united in our commitment to innovation, and create a future that surpasses our wildest imagination. Again, um, good afternoon, and thank you, everyone. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Bukas. So again... Uh, yeah, so I think uh, we are nearing to the end of this conference. So, but first, po, we are requesting everyone if you can spare a few minutes of your time to help us improve our future events and activities. So, there will be an evaluation form, yeah, and that will be flashed on the screen. So, there you have it the QR code where you can scan po using your mobile phone. So, you will be directed. Doon sa ating uh, evaluation form. So you can take a shot or you can uh, scan na rin po using uh, your mobile device. So we are also giving a certificate of appreciation to all our participants here po that can be claimed doon sa ating registration area. And also we would like to thank all the participants, of course, yung ating mga participating schools sa Batanga State University for uh, accommodating accommodating here we, here dito pa sa ating stair hub so together with the CTI so of course sa ating mga partners sa Icon South Luzon and by Bayan Hub and most especially sa ating mga panelists and resource speakers and i hope we uh all of you guys are inspired and ready to encourage young students or yung mga friends niyo po no to become also a young and inspiring innovator. So congratulations po to all of you guys. And we want also to acknowledge uh, the different yeah, institutions, academies, colleges, and organizations 
or agencies and participants from this ASCOs or organizations in any part of the Philippines na nag-stay po sa amin, lalo sa aming Zoom live viewers and also dun sa aming uh, Facebook live. Yan. Okay, so... Alright. So once again po, this is Eve and my pleasure spending this day with you. So stay safe po and have a great day. Thank you very much. Ayan, so I think we can have again po a uh, photo opportunity at this time. So we are inviting again our uh, panelists, our resource speakers, our partners, of course yung ating mga uh, participants here in front po for a quick photo opportunity. Okay po, so we can gather here in line po to the stage. I think kasha naman po tayo. And so we invite all po here in front. Yan, sa lahat po ng ating uh, participants. Yan. Sige po, punta po di tayo dito sa unahan for a photo opportunity. Ayan, sige po, huwag na kayo may... Sige, hindi po. We invite you all po ulit dito sa unahan. So, sige po. And also to our, our resource speakers, our panelists, and also our participants. And so I think everyone can sit down here po sa stage so that we can advance here po in front ng konti. Ayan, so, so yung makakaupo po dito sa baba, yun, so mga hindi po makita dito sa likod. Ayan, sige po. We can sit here po in front. Ayan, so we can also, uh, ayan, dikit din po tayo dito sa nakaupo. Ayan, we can uh, move here, ayan. Ayan. Thank you very much po again. Ayan. So, ingat po tayong lahat and have a great day ahead po.